What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we talk about Michigan officially hiring some of their assistant coaches plus strength coach Justin Trez talks about how it's been as the new strength coach and how it's going in the weight room plus Tyler Morris talks about the receiver room and being a leader next season and I also talk about some big recruiting news on multiple top rated recruits in the 2025 and 2026 class as many of them are planning visits to Michigan this spring. It's all going to be in this video and more so let's go ahead and get right into it All right, so in our last video, we talked about some news on coaching hires. So if you guys missed it, make sure you go ahead, watch that video. As Michigan not only officially hired some defensive assistant coaches, but we also got some new analysts. But uh, Michigan has also officially hired Wink Martindale as its new defensive coordinator. Also, Michigan has officially hired Brian Jean Mary as their new linebackers coach. And now I believe the only coach we are waiting on right now is Michigan's defensive backs coach, Lamar Morgan, as that is the only one that is not official yet. Uh, Greg Scruggs is officially listed as a Michigan defensive line coach. Uh, we already talked about that though, but uh, yeah, Michigan finally starting to officially name their new assistant coaches, which is definitely huge, especially for recruiting. Michigan is set to host multiple recruits here in the spring. Uh, real quick here, I do want to give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring, and you guys can actually use my code Michigan Sports Talk, all caps, no spaces, to get $20 off your first SeatGeek order. So if you guys want to go to a sporting event, live concert, whatever, make sure you use SeatGeek and also use my code Michigan Sports Talk to get $20 off your order. I'll leave a link in the description to SeatGeek's website where you can use my code Michigan Sports Sports talk so make sure to take advantage of that but with that let's go ahead and continue this video now we are going to talk about some recruiting news later in the video I first did want to talk about the strength coach Justin Trez as he was on the in the trenches podcast with John Jansen and talking about the first day in the first training session he said how I chose to address that was we trained he said I didn't give them a speech at the beginning we just trained and then I brought them up at the end and said well, that was so different, wasn't it? And he said, my message to them was the reason why it wasn't different is because of the standard they have set. He said, at the end of the day, they make the choice each and every day. And he said, as each day progressed from that point on, it was, we're doing pretty much the same things, the same way with the same detail. And he said, they are fully bought in. They've been rocking and rolling just like they have been in the past. And it's been good. He also said that it was a life changing experience for him to get the promotion. He said, it was a dream. If we're to come from my mentor, Ben Herber, to take over after him, that's something. He said, at the end of the day, we built that thing together, and Herbert would say that as well. He also said, the key is, not a whole bunch has to change in terms of what we do and how we do it. To put my stamp on it, it is just simply be myself, and just continuing to build relationships with the players, that's the biggest thing. So, it seems like Michigan got a good one out of Justin Trez, as he is the new uh, strength coach after Ben Herbert. I also wanted to talk about Michigan wide receiver Tyler Morris, as according to Clayton Safey, as he talked with the Wolverine first on his touchdown against Alabama, he said the play wasn't designed to go to me, so it's not like I was the first option, but you gotta run it to expect it. He also said that he knew he had the speed to take it to the house, but apparently ain't nobody else knew it. Now, him and JJ McCarthy were actually high school teammates as well, as they both played together at Nazareth Academy. He said it was just cool to look back and think that we were 13, 14, 15 playing with each other, and to have that moment in the game was amazing. Now, Tyler Morris is definitely one of the receivers that has to step up and be a leader for Michigan next season to be one of the top receivers. And he, uh, he said of his approach that he's got an offseason to prepare, trying to get better in any way I can because I expect to play a different role than I had. He said just being one of the older guys now, having the leadership stuff in the receiver room and on the team and all around just growing as a player. He also talked about you know others like Frederick Moore, Carmelo English, and Samaj Morgan. And a lot of people have been having some high praise on Frederick Moore. Even Tyler Moore said, Fred is fast, a good route runner. I'm expecting him to take a big step up next year and make some plays with us. So that's what Tyler Moore said. And uh, now I do want to talk about some recruiting news. First guy I did want to talk about is the 2025 four-star running back Iverson Howard. 
from the state of Maryland. We have talked a little bit about him before, but he is one recruit that is taking an unofficial visit to Michigan for their spring game next month. He also told the Michigan Insider that he will be making a third trip to campus following his spring game visit as he'll soon be setting up an official visit to Michigan as well. Now, he did take an unofficial visit last spring when he told the Michigan Insider that the visit was amazing. I would say the amount of talent that Michigan produces after they leave Michigan stood out the most. And he also said that Michigan definitely works its way up to the top of my board. And I think of Michigan as a top program. I also wanted to talk about a couple of 2026 prospects. The first one is the four-star offensive lineman Darius Gray. Now, he isn't ranked on ESPN or 24-7 sports, but he is ranked uh, in the top 100 on on three rankings. And according to E.G. Holland of the Wolverine, Darius Gray will be making his first visit to Michigan as he scheduled one to make an unofficial visit on April 18th. Now, he also previously talked about Michigan. And he said that they definitely impressed me. My is to be in the league and when schools produce offensive linemen that's what you want to be around so it definitely catches my attention what they've done at Michigan. He also said that Michigan is definitely a program that will be back in the natty really soon and they are now the king of the hill. Then I also wanted to talk about the 2026 five-star safety Zach Fort from IMG Academy. He's ranked 19th nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings ranked as a five-star and he talked about Michigan and Sharon Moore as he told EJ Howard of the Wolverine that whoever the head coach is doesn't matter to me but I am looking forward to building that relationship with Sharon Moore. I'm talking about Michigan winning the national championship he said that was big and I was rooting for them to win since I know the guys there it's a good group. He also said that he would like to get back to Michigan sometime in the spring and he also said Michigan is definitely one of his top schools so uh, Michigan you know they have been going after Zach Fort. He is obviously a teammate of the 2025 four-star safety Alex Graham who also plays at IMG Academy however he is an in-state Michigan native and right now Michigan does lead to land him he's ranked in the top 100 so I also wanted to talk about a 2025 tight end Dakota Terrell he is six foot nine 210 pounds he does both or he does play both football and basketball, but according to Bre Brace Merritt of the Michigan Insider, Michigan has been in contact with him. He's a very intriguing player, and as a junior, he showcased his game at wide receiver, defensive end, and even fielded punt. Now, he is a good basketball player as well, but he has been getting some football offers as well. So, just wanted to mention him, uh, an intriguing prospect for Michigan in the 2025 class. I did also want to give an update on the... 2025 five-star defensive lineman Nathaniel Marshall ranked 23rd nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings and ranked as a five-star. Comes from the state of Illinois, goes to Fenwick High School. Michigan has been going after him for a while, as well as others like Miami, Notre Dame, Illinois, and others. But uh, he did tell the Wolverine that he doesn't have a Michigan visit set up for the spring, but he hopes to have one soon, as it would be huge to get him back on campus for another visit. But uh, yeah, Michigan set to host multiple 2025-2026 recruits here in the spring as the visits keep piling up and it should be a big spring uh, especially for recruiting wise for Sharon Moore and this new coaching staff I need to get off to a good early impression on a lot of these recruits especially for the 2025 class because there are a ton of top rated recruits that Michigan is going after but uh, with that that's going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here I greatly appreciate it but other than that we'll see you guys in the next video go blue